Now recording is started. Okay, thank you. I would like to call the meeting of the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today is Angelia Bills Chair, Justin Randall Vice Chair, and Vincent Nutt Member. The Department of Planning staff members are Debbie Netspit, Abby Freudel, Aminat Adasana, and Jacob Tremble, Secretary of the Board of Zoning Adjustment. And also on the call is John Burford from the County Counselor's Office. First, I would like to offer into the record the, the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, October 2nd, 2024. The board hereby takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record, the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I'd like to call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of September 18, 2024. So moved. Is there a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. We have one item for the good of the order. Mr. Secretary, please read Resolution 124. Thank you, Chairwoman Bills. Yes. Resolution presented by the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment. Whereas Deborah Debbie Nesbitt served as staff liaison to the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment with distinction for over 30 years and is hereby honored for outstanding service and dedication to the Board of Zoning Adjustment, Department of Planning, St. Louis County Government, and to the people of St. Louis County, and has extended the gratitude and best wishes she most richly deserves. And whereas, Debbie began her employment with the Department of Planning on November 13, 1983, in the Word Processing Center, and whereas Debbie has counseled thousands of Board of Zoning Adjustment applicants, explaining the process and helping them complete their applications, and whereas Debbie has been responsible for the preparation and publication of the agenda and notification of applicants, as well as affected neighbors, and whereas the Board of Zoning Adjustment members rely on Debbie for the timely notification of meetings and agenda packets, and whereas Debbie has been responsible for preparation of minutes and all documents related to the Board of Zoning Adjustment requests and files, including visiting every petition site to gather site photos and videos, <clears throat> and whereas Debbie has coordinated the information flow between the Board of Zoning Adjustment, Planning Department, Department of Transportation and Public Works, and the Board of Zoning Adjustment applicants to ensure that correct and timely review and approval information is available. And whereas Debbie has decided to retire so she can spend more time with her family. And whereas Debbie's final Board of Zoning Adjustment meeting to is today, October 2nd, 2024. And whereas when a person has been so dedicated to the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment, it is appropriate for the board and the Department of Planning to pause and take note. And now, therefore, be it resolved by the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment as follows. Section 1. The St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment expresses its deepest gratitude to Debbie Nesbitt for her many contributions to their operation and her long history of bettering St. Louis County and providing assistance to applicants and wishes her a fun-filled and relaxing retirement. Section 2. The Director of Planning shall send a copy of this resolution to Debbie Nesbitt as a permanent token of the Board of Zoning Adjustments and Planning Department's sincere esteem and appreciation for her long career. Wonderful. I move for the adoption of resolution 0124. Is there a second? I will second, second that. Okay. Is there any discussion? Other than uh, Chair, if I may, uh, I don't mean to step before sorry. any of the, no, 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 no. After the members have spoken, I'd like to also say something. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say, Debbie, uh, we've been working together for a few years now, and uh, I appreciate everything you've done to help guide us through the processes that uh, we go through and gathering all the data for us and uh, been extremely helpful and uh, dedicated to, to your craft. So I commend you on that and uh, we'll be sorry to see you go, but excited for you as you get to move on into uh, the better part of your life now. Thank you. 
you, everyone. I, I appreciate that. Yes. Is there any other discussion? Congrats on a great and stellar career. Thank you. Yes. And, and I concur. Congratulations, Debbie. I, I really enjoyed working with you uh, these past. I know I've been here on the board over 10 years and, and you have always been a wealth of knowledge. So congratulations. And, and we will miss you. And I just want to echo what the three members of the board have said and also to say that uh, Debbie, I have over the, the last 10 years of knowing you really come to rely on you um, for this work. You have been an incredible uh, asset to St. Louis County government, to its residents. I can't, and just so the board and publicly knows, I can't tell you how many times people have let me know how helpful Debbie has been, how um, courteous she has been, how she goes out of her way to uh, make sure that residents are heard, understood um, in a way that is professional um, and, and just kind. Um, Debbie, we are going to miss you sincerely. Um, and I know we've got lots of celebrations. I know you're still gonna be here for a few more weeks, but here publicly, I just wanna state thank you so much um, for everything that you've done for us. And just for the so that the board knows, uh, we have printed this off in a um, very lovely, so um, we will be connecting with you, hopefully for all three of you to sign this. We will frame this and we will give this to Debbie uh, as a token of the board's um, appreciation. Sounds great, sounds great, thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, the motion passes. Resolution 0124 is adopted. Congratulations once again, Debbie. Thank you. And at this time, we will move to new business. This, this meeting is conducted as a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record and present technical advice to the board if needed. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board, explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To do so, click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, the staff will read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion is ended. No further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today. If a variance is approved, the petitioner has six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested, or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 92 24, John Adams is a request for an exception to the side yard regulations for the purpose of constructing swimming pool equipment at 4334 South Bend Courts, maintaining a side yard of three feet in lieu of six feet as required by the R4 Residence District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. I requested that you meet yourself, Patricia Adams. Please state your name to the record and proceed with your case. My name is Patricia Adams, and could you talk to Mark uh, Weisher for this? I'm going to go ahead and unmute uh, the Mark as well, since he's also part of the thank rep. You. Yes, that way, thank if you. there's questions the board has for him specifically, he can he answer can, it. Is yes, that, he can. Not, um, he's on mute already. It was on. Ms. Patricia, please proceed with your case. I'm sorry, are you present my case? Yes. 
Doesn't look like Mr. Mark is unmuted. Oh. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm Mark. I'm the pool builder for John Adams. And so what I am requesting is on his side yard, um, the setback is six foot in total. And we would like to put his swimming pool equipment pad into that side yard setback. The equipment pad will come out approximately three foot from the side of his house. The reason for uh, asking for this setback is he already has his air conditioning units on the side of the house and really just don't, there's no good place in his backyard to put his equipment pad. So that's why we would like to go into this side yard and be able to put it on the back corner of his house, a three foot a pool equipment pad. That's all. Okay. So the equipment pad, is it close to the neighbor's home or, or where is it? Nope. So it'll be touching, it'll be touching his foundation and as close as possible up to his house. So it'll be three foot out from the side of his foundation, very similar to an AC pad that you would have that would hold your air conditioning unit. In the drawing that we're looking at right now, where is the air conditioning uh, condenser in relation to the proposed equipment pad? Is it below? It is, it's no, it is in the front of the house. It's more towards the front of the house. Are there any other questions? I don't have any right now. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? Um, I do not see any hands at this time. So I've put Mark on mute so what can make your vote, can take your vote. Okay, and what is that number again? This is 92-24. Okay, in the matter of 92-24, I vote to approve the variance as advertised. Second the motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. 93-24, John Andrew and Okefi is a request for an exception to the front yard and sign regulations for the purpose of replacing signage at 4450 Mary McBottom Road, maintaining a sign size of 88 square feet in lieu of 50 square feet as required by the C2 Shopping District Regulations, Section 1003.168 Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and Conditional Use Permit 917. I've requested that you omit yourself, Gwen. Please state your name to the record and proceed with your case. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Gwen Keen with Quick Trip Corporation. Uh, we are looking to update our sign. The sign is in, it, it currently exists and it's installed. It was obviously installed prior to the current code. We are only looking to replace the pricers, which digital pricers. So you can see on that uh, exhibit, we're going to revise the sign. The sign will stay in place, the frame, everything stays in place except we pull out where those pricers are and we're going to replace them with digital pricers. So we won't be actually removing the sign as a whole, we'll just be removing part of the sign to update the pricers. And this is to assist our employees don't have to go out to, to manually uh, change those prices any longer. They're able to do it from corporate as well as inside the store. It eliminates that issue of them going out at night and um, all of that, uh, those issues. So that is our request and uh, we appreciate your consideration for it. Okay, uh, Mary, Mayor Mac Bottom, is that, I'm trying to picture where, where this quick trip is. Is it by um, Shackleford? No, this is down South County. South uh, County, it's okay. 50, it's at 55 and um, Merrimack Bottom. So it's okay. right by the Merrimack River. Oh, okay, thanks. Right off of 55, there's a car wash across from us. To, uh, there's a self storage unit um, both behind us and across the street from us. Okay. I don't have any further questions. Angela. Okay. No questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor of opposition? 
this time I did not see any hands. I've put the petition on mute so the board can take their vote. Uh, in the matter of uh, 93-24, uh, I recommend approval of the variance as advertised. Okay. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. 94-24, John Andrian Okoyefi is a request for an exception to the front yard and sign regulations for the purpose of replacing signage at 702 Limi Ferry Road, maintaining a sign size of 53 square feet in lieu of 50 square feet, a front yard of 1 foot in lieu of 15 feet along Bayless Avenue, and a front yard of 0 feet in lieu of 15 feet along Limi Ferry Road, as required by the Seed to Shopping Dis Regulations, Section 1003.168, Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance, and Conditional Use Permit Number 945. I've requested that you omit yourself, Gwen. Please state your name to the record and proceed with your case. Gwen Keen with Quick Trip. Um, and before I forget, may I second uh, the commissions and uh, the staff's applaud and uh, gratitude for Debbie Nesbitt. Uh, from a customer standpoint, Debbie was that voice that you really hoped you got on the other end of the call. Um, she knew what she was doing. She helped me. We laughed sometimes. I cried a few times. Uh, but Debbie, you're you're the best, and it is the county's loss that you are retiring, but as the world's gain and, and your family. So enjoy your retirement. You will be missed from all of us out here who look to you for guidance and sometimes comfort. So <laughs> thank you very much. And I hope that's okay, because that's I've been doing this 12 years. So <laughs> Debbie and I go way back. <laughs> On, six, <laughs> on 609, same situation. However, these two signs were already covered by variances. Um, they were approved and they were uh, granted because of visibility issues. We needed to make sure that people could see these signs. Um, the same issue here, we are not removing the sign. We're not removing framing or anything of that nature. We are basically pulling out those pricers and updating them with digital copy um, in order that, that we can um, change it up as, as seen there. So. Are there any questions? I have no questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? Gwen on mute. In the case of 94-24, I move to make a motion to approve the variance as advertised. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The motion passes. Five dash twenty four. Elizabeth Simmons is a request for an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of replacing a deck and stairs at one two eight one ten one ten ten cycle units eight, maintaining a rear yard of twelve feet in lieu of fifteen feet as required by the RCCA residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and PE Ordinance twenty thousand two hundred and three. I've requested that you omit yourself, Tracy. Please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. Hello, this is Tracy Collins. I'm the architect on the project. Um, this is a deck replacement at the rear of a townhome. Um, this development has multiple rear decks on, on several of the other residences. And um, we discovered that all of them are non-conforming with the rear setback. We're not looking to expand the deck in, in any size. We just want to rebuild it in the same footprint. Um, so yeah, okay. that's, that's all we're looking to do. Okay. And it seems like it's a pretty uh, narrow backyard. It is. And if we were to reduce the size of the deck, um, 
it would be a little odd because it would be the only deck that wouldn't match others. They're all kind of lined up in a row, so this one would kind of jut in from the others. Um, other decks on the rear of the home, some of them have, you know, covered structures built on the deck as well, so um, it would kind of mess up that rhythm in the rear yard okay. if we didn't, if we were to conform <laughs> with the setback. Will you be using, reusing the existing um, vertical supports or pouring new? Um, reusing the piers, but all of the framing will be new. I have no other questions. I have no questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. I've put the petition on mute so the board can take their votes. Okay. Um, in the matter of 95-24, I vote to approve the variances advertised and the hardship just being a narrow backyard and then the need to match up with the other decks. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the motion passes. 96 24 Union Electric Amren is a request for an exception to the side yard regulations for the purpose of erecting a cell tower at 18857 US Highway 66, maintaining a side yard of 200 feet in lieu of 258 feet 3 inches as required by the N Union Urban District Regulations and Section 1003.157 Telecommunication Tower Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and CUP 1001. This petition has been postponed. Continue to the next hearing. Do do we need to make a motion to move it, uh, John, or are we good with Abiola doing that? No, I, I think Abiola's announcement is sufficient. Okay. Thank Very you. Good. Yeah. Thank you. 97-24, Mike Gofford is a request for an exception to the front yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a deck and stairs at 62 heritage point cycle, maintaining a front yard of 12 feet in lieu of 15 feet along Fenway Drive as required by the R3 residence district regulations and the density development procedure of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Sorry, in lieu of 20 feet. 12 feet in lieu of 20 feet. I've requested that you omit to save Rob. Please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. Is he muted? Yeah, I've sensed the request on mute, but. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, Rob Krupp, Fence and Deck Depot. I'm here to represent Mike Goforth. Um, if you look at the picture that's displayed now, it says it's the front yard, but it's completely behind a fence, kind of making this his rear yard. We want to build a deck that extends past the building line, but still remains within the easement line. Okay. okay. That last picture kind of shows the best. Right there, the the deck would kind of go all the way up and almost butt to that the bottom of that hill, mm -hmm. but still remain within the fence line. And then you can see the sewer on the left there. You know we're we're making that angle on the plans that you just displayed to remain within the easement of that sewer. Okay. And so this is a first, so you're, this is the first time you're going to have a deck here then? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
And what would be your hardship for this? Well, it just doesn't really have that much of a yard. He's trying to make a place that he can, you know, sit out and enjoy. And really, I mean, the deck, I mean, the, the building line, I mean, it's there because of the street, but like the fence is already in the building line. Mm -hmm. is, okay. is this deck extending towards, was that Fenway on the site plan that I saw? So is it? it is. The so main the like building line that it is crossing is the one that is on Fenway, yes, which is uphill from where the deck will be and downhill from where that fence is. I did receive a uh, an email from the Legacy Point Homeowners Association Board. They have no objection to the variance. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, are there any other questions? I have no other questions. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. I've put a petition on mute so the board can take their vote. Uh, in the matter of 97-24, based on the corner lot situation and uh, the setbacks of what of a front yard essentially being his backyard I make the motion to approve the variance as advertised second that motion okay all those in favor aye 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 okay the motion passes 98-24 dan dan score and felt Apologies. It is a request for an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a deck and stairs at A61 further crossing drive, maintaining a rear yard of 13 feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R4 resident district regulations and the density development procedure of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and PEU Ordinance 18,070. I have requested that you meet yourself, Dan. Please state your name to the record and proceed with your case. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Dan Schoenfeld. Uh, we are requesting to replace an existing deck that sits at the 13 foot mark from the back property line. Um, we do back to common ground, not another county residence. We're not looking to expand the deck, just replace. Um, we, we do have a very narrow backyard. Um, uh, you can see the we're not going to go any closer to that fence, just looking to ex replace that existing space right there. Okay. Are there any questions? I don't have any. No questions. Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. I've put a petition on mute so the board can take their votes. In the case of 98-24, I'll make a motion to approve the variance as advertised. Second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the motion passes. 99-24, Eldin Jugovic is a request for an exception to the front yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a front porch and stairs at 136 West Eta Avenue, maintaining a front yard of 12 feet in lieu of 20 feet as required by the R5 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. I've requested that you omit yourself, Eldin. Please state your name to the board and proceed with your case. Hi, my name is Eldin Yugovic. Uh, I'm requesting to uh replace my front porch it is entrance to my house i already have a, a porch in the front of my house there was a roof but all of that uh all of that was very old and roof already fell and it was removed uh my front porch now it's extending uh across the across the uh, whole front of the house as you can uh, see there i'm going to make that uh, front porch smaller just eight feet wide there in the same spot, just so I can have uh, 
entrance uh, to my to my uh, residence. Thank you. Eldon, I'm assuming based on some of these photographs that we're seeing that there are several houses along the street that are in a similar situation. All of, all of the houses in that neighborhood are are like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Are there any other questions? I have no other questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor of opposition? I do not see any hands at this time. I've put the petition on me so the board can take their votes. Okay. Um, 99-24, I vote to approve the variance as advertised the hardship being a need for an adequate uh, entrance for the home. Second that one. Oh. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? The motion passes. That's all we have today. Okay. Debbie, right. Debbie, so when is your last day with the county? My last day will be October 25th. Okay. We have a um, Mexico trip planned for the week of the 14th. Hopefully no hurricanes. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then I'll be back for a week to close things up. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Debbie and from the county counselor's office, you've been wonderful to work with and I wish you the best in your retirement. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I've had it. I've enjoyed very much working with the boards I've had and um, and the people helping them through the through the process. It's been very um, fulfilling. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know you'll be greatly missed and uh, we look forward to do you. Does staff know who's going to take your kind of roll over? Gretchen for right now. Oh, Gretchen, you got some big shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've jokingly told no, her I'm going no to pressure. hang on to her ankles as she's trying to leave on the 20th. So <laughs> Brian will be calling her every day. So it will be yeah. happening. Well, best of luck to you on that endeavor as well. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Special thank you as well from me as well, getting me onboarded and welcoming <laughs> to the uh, board. All right, so I guess right. we need Move to make to a adjourn. motion. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, special motion to adjourn as Debbie says her final goodbyes to the board <laughs> and uh, make that motion. Okay. I, I get that motion. <laughs> All right, and all those in favor, aye. 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 All right, all right. Thanks, invite guys. us to the party, guys. Right. <laughs> 25th, two to four. All right, see you guys. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.